and then it's JT Barrett who's phenomenal. Then he goes down, and you get to Cardell. How did he do what he did as the stakes got higher in each game from Wisconsin to Alabama to here? And I know you know this, and you know this, but just, just for people that aren't familiar with it, they lost four offensive linemen off of their team from last year, three of which started in a playoff game this past weekend, started as rookies all year, and they got all the way to the postseason. They lost Braxton Miller 12 days before the season started. Carlos Hyde played for the 49ers. So you lose all that, and then Braxton goes down. And you got to put in a quarterback like J.T. <coughs> who becomes a Heisman candidate himself. I, I, again, this would be equivalent to Jameis Winston being taken away from Florida State. We saw them play Clemson without him. Mm -hmm. This would be equivalent to Marcus Mariota being taken away from Oregon. We saw what they looked like for a few plays with, without, without Marcus. So it was just as significant to them. And Tim knows from playing with Urban, he does talk Can't about the next it. man up. And I really appreciate that approach. But that's, that's an embarrassment of riches to be able to go to J.T. Barrett and then the big boy at 6'5", 250, who, by the way, was out of Cleveland, Glenville, very, very talented, coming out of high school. But I don't, th I don't think there's another program in the country that could come close to doing what, what they had to overcome this year to be able to have that performance. It really doesn't happen. You don't see that happen in college football or I mean, football video in general. Game. Video game. <laughs> but to take a look at this kid's improvement in his career, when he came to Ohio State, he didn't have his head on his shoulders. And he was 217 pounds and fat and blubbery and passed out in his first 10 minutes of, of the warm-up. And he's changed from that to winning a national championship. And, and I think a lot of that has to do with the program. Mickey Marotti, the strength coach. Obviously, Urban got a hold of him. But he's changed his mindset. And because of that, he's a different kid. I, I just want to add, for, for a, this is a great thing to remember. We always talk, predict it in August, who's going to be a great team. Of course. There are things that happen that allow teams to get to this moment. Oregon had a great year. They overcame a lot of adversity. People don't realize this, but when Ohio State beat Penn State, down year for Penn State, not a great team, but you know from going into the battle week in and week out, going into a whiteout in Happy Valley when you're Ohio State playing Penn State, and Barrett got hurt in that game. That's, the, that's what I was exactly going to say. Second degree MCL sprain, he's out there playing with everything he's got. Normally, you go out when you have a second degree MCL. They find a way, gets into overtime. JT Barrett scores a couple touchdowns. Joey Bosa with a big sack. And Mick, Mickey, the, the strength coach, goes into the, into the uh, locker room after the game. Guys are crying. He gives the game ball. He said, I've never seen a tougher guy than J.T. Barrett. He must have forgot about you. Never <laughs> seen a tougher guy than J.T. Barrett for what he overcame. And then the offense and the defense went from being separate units to one unit where they came together. Their guys were crying, hugging each other. And Urban told me that that was a moment where he kind of stepped back and just let that happen and let that, that, that team, that many times as an offensive, defensive team, become one team. Mm. And from that point on, they really didn't look back. And in year one of the college football playoff, we see a continuation of a trend we've seen in the National Football League. All you need is a seat at the table. This is the last team in, much like a wild card team that gets hot. You talked about it, you get hot, you get belief. But they did it with their third string quarterback. You saw the Cardinals in the NFL and their third string quarterback get 79 yards of offense. It was an astonishing story for Ohio State as they win a national title. Marcus Mariota, the best player in college football, needed to be the best player on the field tonight for his team to get a victory. He wasn't, and they didn't. It was heartbreak for him. We'll hear from the Ducks quarterback as we continue a little later on SportsCenter.